Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations and I have a couple of small hauls to share with you. I have about four of them from um, a couple different places, so um, I'll just get started. So, I ordered the, um, I ordered two different clear bags here. So, I ordered one for my, um, the, I think these are the wider stamps. So Avriel is the 5x7 one, so these are a little bit wider. They're 5.6875 by 8.625, so you can put um, like your some of your wider Altenew stamps and stuff in there. My favorite things, that kind of stuff. And then I ordered the 6x10 clear bags um, for the tall stamps. So there's some Altenew stamps that are really tall. Um, so yeah, so I got some of these bags, and Jennifer McGuire showed them in a video a while ago, but I wanted to get them so I could organize my bigger stamps. And then I also picked up the um, Layered Flowers, the Stamp Temper collaboration between Altenew and Simon Says Stamp, and I think it's really pretty. So I stamped it out. I haven't actually made a card with it yet, but I stamped it out, and that's what the, the big flower looks like anyway. So this is using the um, Altenew Crisp Inks right here, the red ones. Look how pretty that is. Gorgeous. I just love that. So there's that. And then I picked up... Um, I picked up my first set of Altenew inks because I wanted to try them out, so I got the red set. So I got Frosted, what is this, Frosty Pink, Coral Berry, um, Ruby Red, and Grapevine. So I used that to stamp out this one, obviously. Super pretty stamp. I'm excited to use it, but right now I'm trying to get Christmas stuff ready for my craft show coming up. And then I also got the Wow Metallic Gold Sparkle Embossing Powder. Um, because Jennifer McGuire was using it a lot, and I thought it was really pretty, and I saw a bunch of other people using it, and I wanted it. And this is, like, the smallest jar ever for, what, like, $5? This is the smallest embossing powder jar ever. It was ridiculous. But I'm excited to use it. And then I also picked up some more zig, mm, zig markers. Now, of course, the colors that I really wanted, like some of the purples and the, the turquoise and stuff, were out of stock, obviously, because this one's obviously everybody else wants. So I got some of the other ones that I didn't have. So I got the um, emerald green... This one's fluorescent pink, Persian green. I was trying to fill in some of my gaps. Cornflower blue, scarlet red. So you only get like one red in the 36 pack, which irritates me. And then fluorescent yellow. So I want to go back and collect more of them, but. Um, they have to come in stock. So that was an order from Simon's Stamp. This is actually two different orders from Simon's Stamp, but it's okay. And then I also placed an order from Altenew on their new release day. So purple is my favorite color. I don't know if you guys have known. I think I've said it before, but purple is my favorite color. And I don't ever feel like I have the right... Like, I have paper tray ink purples, and I have a bunch of Stampin' Up! purples. But I don't ever feel like I have, like, the right color, like, progression to do, like, layered stamping. And, yeah, they look okay, but I don't love them. And so, um, Altenew came out with a purple collection, and, um, Nicole, I think her name's Nicole Picadura, I think that's the same, but she did a periscope where she stamped the four colors out in a layered, or she had three colors in a layered flower, and it was beautiful, and I was like, I have to have that. So I got the purple collection, so it's soft lilac, lavender pillow, I think that says, I don't know, I can't read that, lavender something or other, lavender fields, okay, there we go, lavender fields, um, Deep Iris and Midnight Violet, and they are gorgeous together. I haven't opened mine yet. I, I got these a couple days ago. I think I got them Friday, and it's now Sunday. Um, I just haven't had a chance to play with them yet. I had a wedding over the weekend, so. And then I really liked the blue collection as well, so I got that one. The Sea Glass, the Ocean Waves, Dark. Is that all that? Dark. Oh, Dusk. I'm sorry. And then Desert Night. So I have, you know, I have a bunch of inks, you guys, and I, I mean, I'd love to get the Simon Says Stamp inks, I'd love to get, like, the Lawn Fawn inks and everything, but I have so many that I already use. I got these ones mainly, like, for the layering aspects, so I probably won't use these, like, in my normal stamping. I'll probably use these more when I'm doing layering. And then I also picked up the Layered Lily die, because if you have a stamp set, you gotta have a die to go with it, right? So I got that, and then I got the Painted Flowers die, because I also... I have that stamp set, as, stamp set as well. I was going to get the Painted Butterflies die, but it was $20. I didn't want to add an extra $20 to my order because I had already spent quite a bit. Um, not with this order, but I had already ordered a couple other things from some other places and I didn't want to uh, spend a lot more money. So I, I'll get that another time. 
And then I also placed my club order. You stampin' up. I got the Whisper White Organza ribbon. I absolutely love this stuff. It's my favorite ribbon of all time. I got the silver and gold um, one eighth inch ribbon. This isn't new. It's in the it's in that main catalog. It was out last year too, but I ran out of the silver. And I needed it for a project that I'm working on to finish that. And then I'm also doing the same exact project but in different colors. And I wanted the gold for that part of the project. So I had to pick those up to get to finish those. And then I absolutely love this stamp set. This is Vintage Leaves. It's not new either. It's in the annual catalog. It's new this year, but it's in the annual catalog. It's not in the holiday catalog. But it's just gorgeous. Leaf stamps are my favorite. I just love them. My, I have my favorite stamp set from a couple years ago. I can't remember what it's called. Gently Falling. Um, and they haven't had a good leaf set since then. This one I think is absolutely gorgeous. And it's not a layering one, but I still think it'll be um, pretty. My battery's going to die, so I'm going to go faster. And then I got the um, framelits to match. So cut out all the different leaves. And then lastly, I placed my first order with the ton, which I was super excited about. I really wanted the holiday bow stamp set and die, but one of, one of the other was out of, the, out of stock, so I didn't get them. And then the other one went out of stock when the other one came in stock. So I ended up buying the stamp, but I don't have the die yet. So that should come in soon. I got the, um, I don't remember what this one is. I think it's Laura's Jamie Blues mix. That's how pretty that is. And I got the Holiday mix. I like all the beads and stuff in there. And then this is my favorite stamp set. This is the Fresh Cut Dahlias, and I think this is beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that when you layer it. That is the most gorgeous thing ever. I just love it. I can't wait to try this one out. And you get a vase. You get the word thanks here. Some stems. I think it's gorgeous. I'm excited. And then I picked up two background stamps. I got the... This one is the... I don't have the name on it. But it's the Rose Garden background stamp. So you have some open roses here. And you have some that are already filled in. Um, I've seen people do some really pretty stuff with that. And then I got the Marvelous background stamps, which just says Marvelous a bunch. like that one. And the last thing I got was the Peony Standalone Die Cuts. Yeah, there's no name on it, but it's the Peony Standalone Die Cuts. So I thought I could cut these out of toner paper and foil them. And I thought that would be really pretty. Or <coughs> use my Zig markers and color and then cut those out. So you got some zig watercolored flowers. I thought that'd be really pretty. So those are my small hauls. Um, I'm planning on doing some crafting today. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm planning on working Christmas cards. So yeah, I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.